Hi everyone, I'm Ali. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I've just gotten home from work. It's a little bit cold in Hobart, so just excuse the big blanket here behind me. It's a bit cold in this room at different times. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create A-plus content for KDP. There are a few reasons why you would create A-plus content. It allows you to showcase your book in a visual way to potential customers. They get to see inside your book and know what to expect. Amazon claim that A plus content can boost your sales by 10%, so that is more money in your pocket. You can boost your own branding, so if you're interested in developing a brand for KDP, this is a great way to do that. It improves your credibility, particularly if you're putting some information there about yourself as an author. You can show vital book features. So using the different modules, you can lay out different elements to show parts of your book. It helps the buyer make an informed purchase. And this helps to reduce any negative reviews because the customer can really see what it is that they are buying into. But do be aware of the guidelines. KDP do have some guidelines around a content. You can access this through your dashboard. And I as each author and published book is different, it's very important that you make yourself aware of these guidelines. A plus content so you can, can avoid easily your be created in Canva. To your account. If you would like a quick cheat sheet, I have just put this one together, which is basically just all of the different layouts or modules that you can use in Amazon and just gives you an idea of what pixels you might need. This is really handy if you go into Canva, you can just have a look at what you might like. It will tell you what size the images need to be. You can have them all saved so that when you get into A plus content, you can easily just add them. Something else that you might want to do is for say, for instance, this one here, which is four images with a text. If there's any text that needs to go with the image, I sometimes put that in Word or a notepad so that I can easily just copy and paste that when I get into the A plus content area of KDP. Just to make this job a little bit easier for me this evening, I am going to be selecting this standard image header with text. I find that this one will probably be the easiest one in terms of putting my A plus content together today. So that I have uploaded a couple of new books this week and I'm just going to go through and add some A plus content for one of them now. So let's jump across to the computer and you can see how I go about doing this. So having a look at my KDP dashboard here, I have this tiny house coloring book. This was an old book that I had listed and it had a really terrible cover and I've completely redone the interior. I actually had it archived for a little while so I brought it out of the dungeons and decided to do a little bit of work for it to make it look a little bit better. So if I'm going to create uh, some A plus content for this one because I want people to know what it looks like inside, I'm going to come across to this little ellipsis here and I'm going to click on promote and advertise. Now this will take me to the area where I'm able to promote my book on Amazon. Now here on this particular page you can choose to run an ad campaign or if you scroll down you can choose to create some A plus content. Now when you create A plus content you can only include it at one marketplace at a time. So for this example I am going to be including it in Amazon.com so I'm going to choose that and then I'm going to click on Manage A Plus Content. So now that I am in A Plus Content Manager, I can see all of the different A Plus content that I've already applied to my books. I've been incredibly busy this month. I did say this was going to be something that I was going to focus on and that's exactly what I have done. And here is where I will start thinking about my content. So up the top here, over here you'll see Start Creating A Plus Content. That's what you want to click on. Give the content that you're going to be creating a name and I'm going to call this Tiny House. So I'm just trying to keep everything um, named in a way that I can locate it and find it whenever I might want to go back and revisit it. So Tiny House, oops, colouring book, what am I doing? Okay, colouring book. Now once I have the content name, then I can come down here and I can add some modules. So when you click add module, this will bring up all the different modules that you saw on my printed pages that I just showed you. 
So these are all the different ones that you can choose. And the one that I am going to choose is going to be the standard image with text. So that is this one here, standard image header with text. That's the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And for this particular one, I am just going to create the image. I'm not going to put any of this body text in because if you don't enter something into that field, it just won't appear on your A plus content. So I'm going to keep it just as an image. So you can see here that the image size is 970 by 600. And this is what I can take then to the next program that I'm going to use to help me. So I'm going to pop across to Canva. And in my Canva, I can come across here to custom size. And here I can leave it to pixels and the width is 970 by 600 and create a new design. And this will bring up the size that will fit perfectly within that particular A plus content module. Now this one, so I'm going to bring that across first and I can snip across. I can turn this on its side and I can make it nice and big. The idea is to have it nice and big so that people can see the actual book itself. Now I can add in some elements just to decorate the extra outside of it. Um, so I'll just position that to the back with layers. Obviously I want to change up the color. So here when you add a new color, if you choose this color picker, you can choose a color that is there. The purple looks good. So I might keep it at that. Yeah, but I might come down here and maybe do a little bit of a gradient. Now this looks a little flat on the page. So if you click on an element and go up to edit image, you can come down here where it says shadows and you can apply a drop, which makes it look more like the book is sitting on top of the page and then I want to add some text that's going to tell the person what is actually in this book so, and I can play around with the text a little bit so maybe do some effects like lift it up and then here I might du duplicate again and just leave that down there and this time I want to have some pages I'll go, let's go that one, let's go this one, try and make them the same. All right, so we've got the cover of the page, collection of 60 drawable delightful tiny house designs to decorate and color, and then examples, and then we could finish up with And I'll increase the size of that. And also give that a lift of shadow. And now I can bring that down. I'll do that again. The JP download. So with those now created, let's go back across into our Amazon standard image header with text. So here I'm going to add the very first image, which is this one here. I'm going to call it the tiny house coloring front page. And that's added. And then I'm going to leave the body and text. I'm going to add the next module. The next module is going to be the same, the standard image headed with text. I'm going to come up and choose this next one, which has got some examples. So tiny house coloring pages. Sorry, I'm trying to type fast here and I'm making a mess. And then I'm going to add a further module down here, same one again, and I'm going to put in the last bit I made, and I'm just going to call this tiny house.
colouring book two. So once I have all those standard Im images in, then I can actually come up here and go to next apply ASINs. You'll need to go back into your Amazon um, Kindle Direct Publishing dashboard and take the ASIN from the book, come back over and paste it into this section and you'll see that it will come up with the name of the book that you're trying to apply this content to. So click on that. Here it is here. And over here on the right, you choose apply content. Once you have applied content to your book, come up here to the top right and look at review and submit. And what this will do, it will give you a view of what that's going to look like on a mobile phone. And then if you click here where it says desktop, you will see what it's going to look like if someone were to look at it on the desktop. If you are happy with that, then you come over here and you click submit for approval. And it says you are submitting your content for review. It can take up to seven business days and if approved up to 24 hours, it, hours for it to appear on the detail page after it's published. So what I normally do is when my books go live, I go in and I then apply the A plus content. That's going to be my workflow from now on. And then I, can, I know that within about a week or so, it's going to have this A plus content applied. Now I have to tell you that often it might not necessarily take the seven days. I've found that it varies. Sometimes it comes up quite quickly. So I guess they're giving you a, um, a standard message here just in case. So let's submit that for approval. And it will kick back to the initial page. Now you can go and edit these at any stage, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come over here to where it says A plus content manager and I'm going to click on that again. And because you have to do this for each of the Amazon marketplaces, if I come down here to amazon.com, I can hit switch marketplace and I'm going to choose down here to have that in the amazon.com.au marketplace. And I'm going to open that. Now I am in the AU marketplace. I do the same thing. So start creating A plus content. I can call it the tiny house coloring book. Add the modules. So again, it's quite repetitive, but if you have them done like this, this is so much less work than having lots of individual images. I know there's lots of other ways you can do this, but I find that just having this really nice um, 970 by 600 is an excellent way to do that. It just saves me a little bit of time. So there we have that one done. So when I come back in in another couple of days, I can come in and when you hit view on Amazon, you can see that book in any of the marketplaces that it's been set up in. So I can go to the AU marketplace, for example, and I can see that book sitting there ready to be sold. And, and when I go down, I will be able to see that content there. And so will the buyer. When you get a message from KDP when you've sold your book, it will often tell you that your book's been purchased in a particular marketplace. So I guess if you find that you have a lot of books that have been sold in Canada, for example, then it would be very worthwhile if you create more books in that sort of theme or series that you might imply that into the Canada marketplace. If you find that a lot of it's in the US, you could do yes. US, you could do the whole lot if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. But I find that if you were doing the pages, so for instance, like this one here, where you have the, the four image and quadrant, you can imagine how long it's going to take you because that's like one one, two, three, four, there's eight elements that you're adding for each of the marketplaces. You times that by, say, eight marketplaces, and that's 64 different motions that you have to make to be able to put the A-plus content together. So have a little think about how you might want to do that. At the moment, I'm just doing AU and US. I can always go back and apply more A-plus content if I wish. You have that content saved anyway on your hard drive, so you can always apply it later on. Or you can do it in the one sitting. It's completely up to you. 
I'm going to... If you do a Google search of examples of A-plus content, um, you'll get pages such as this one here, which talks about from the publisher. These are straight from Amazon themselves. You can do book comparisons. So over here, you can have a list, uh, a whole lot of your books, and you can actually write about what each is about, giving them a little bit of a comparison. You can create standard images and texts about the actual book and the characters and the themes that might be present within that particular story. You can do an author page that tells more about the author if you're trying to develop a brand. The images about pictures with pictures showing illustrations within your books with some example text underneath to let you know what that's about. And there's another one here about an illustrated book. So if you're doing a children's book, it's a great way for people to understand what the story might be about, see if it applies to them, something that they're interested in reading. So you can really get an idea of what other people are doing. Here's another one down here where you can do another comparison chart which has got ticks. So you can put in your own text within the grid and you apply the ticks um, for that grid. So there are lots of different options that you can take with the modules themselves. I used to play around with lots of different a modules. I find that this one, if you do all the work in Canva, it is so much easier in terms of how much time it takes you. Given that I do work full time, I'm trying to make any process that I'm using to create KDP content or a or a plus content or even in creating the books themselves anything that I can use to save some time is time well spent in my opinion just so that I can upload regularly and increase the amount of books that I have on offer for potential customers that is a quick look at a plus content specifically a plus content that I've applied to one of my books I'm going to continue doing this process like I said as part of the workflow so once I have my books up uploaded, they've been reviewed, they have been approved. I'm going to go in, I'm going to apply the A plus content and I'm going to do that for each of my books no matter whether they're low, medium or high content. It's going to happen regardless. Hopefully that will translate to some sales once people can actually see what's happening inside of the book. I hope that's helped take the mystery out of A plus content. I know that when I first started KDP and people were talking about A plus content I thought it was all a bit too hard and then I realized how easy it actually is. So if you're new to KDP or if you haven't played around with a content just yet, I hope that you give this a try and that your books become very successful on the marketplace. Thanks for sticking around and watching the video tonight and I will catch you in the next one.